Good Saturday morning to you all. Just got back from breakfast with Mrs. Bearded Welshman. And uh, enjoying a good pipe. The Stenborg is fixed. Thank you, Simon. London is calling. He, uh, contacted me and we talked told me what to do works great might be a little controversial for some people but it works great works great for me I haven't had any side effects no, I'm just kidding um, <laughs> uh, but it works great so warm Saturday morning here in Pennsylvania yesterday was was Hot, upper 80s, almost 90 degrees. I don't know if it got to 90 yesterday. Past two days have been up in the upper 80s, <coughs> which is nice. Oh, how rude of me. I've got to tell you what I got in the pipe. Wrong lighter. Got some two year old. Sam Galworth Perfection. Good stuff. Good stuff. And I couldn't believe when I opened up the jar. I had a hard time getting... I had used the mason jars. And I had to pry the... The lid off. And it's been sitting like two years. Almost. I was surprised at how moist it, it is. And, you know, I find that with some of the mason jars I have, some of the tobaccos, they stay fresh like the Sam Galworth did. And some tobaccos, they don't. They just, you got to gotta get them moistened back up a little bit. So, throw an apple slice in there, wet paper towel or something, and get some moisture back in there. But, um, yeah, so, it's good. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it, so. Work's going really well. Uh, they're giving me more, um, giving me more to do. They feel that I can handle some uh, more work, tougher work. So, and I had a, you know, let me, let me talk about this a little bit. We talk about worth at work ethic, good work ethic, right? Um, I was always raised, you work as if it's your first day every day. You work that way, even on your last day at your job. Because on your first day, you want to impress the boss. So, and I remember applying for jobs. And I'd say to my dad when I was, you know, in high school, I haven't heard back from that. Did you call him? No. Well, call him and follow up. See, we didn't have email back then. And text message. Call him and follow up. And my dad would say to me, if you call them and you bug them, they'll know you're hungry for work, that you want to work. So we had a get together yesterday at work around lunchtime. And the vice president was there. And we were talking. And in front of the whole group of people, not to toot my own horn, uh, it was kind of embarrassing, but it was good to hear. She said, d the director of my department, which is under the vice president, she said, I, I want you to know, Denise, Denise was, is my director's name, pushed for you to get hired. And, and I said, really? And she said, yes, because she said... She saw someone in the interviews that was hungry for work, that has a strong work ethic, and has a great attitude. So now they're giving me more responsibility. And then she said to me privately, "Keep going. You're going to move. You're going to move. You're going to move in this place. You're going to. You're going to move on." So, well, it was encouraging. It was good to know. Because, let me tell you. 
after driving truck for seven years and then not working and then not able to find work it was 165 applications I had out there and these were the folks that called me out of all 165 you get discouraged and you think am i smart enough i don't know anything i'm not i'm not marketable and i can't do anything and these people took a chance on me and it seems to be working out so i don't want to take advantage of that and i definitely don't want to take it i don't want to take advantage of their generosity towards me and i don't want to take it for granted with the the opportunities they've given me so i'm just thankful it all works out. Yeah, I'm almost out of tobacco. It must be near the bottom of the bowl. But anyhow, thank, thankfully, the Svenborg, my favorite pipe, working great. Been working great. I meant to get a video out sooner, but just haven't had the opportunity to do it. And uh, everything else is going good. Uh, family's doing good. My son that has the Hodgkin's cancer is uh, back in chemo treatment and it's a little discouraged by that but this is the type type of Hodgkin's and the type of cancer that if you do the treatments you will you should be okay it's just it's physically it's physically draining on on people and especially him and it gets him down a little bit especially he's a go-getter and he doesn't like to I mean who likes to feel bad and after his chemo treatment, they do a drip. And he's pretty wiped out for a day. So gets him a little down because he's, you know, he's young. He's active. He wants to, you know, do things and be active. And he's got a couple days down every every month. And he just doesn't like it. So, But the medicine's working. So thank God for that. My beautiful Japanese maple has finally come back to life. I've been watching it since about March and I thought eh, it looks like there's some buds coming out on this thing and then I thought nah it's not it's dead it's not gonna work and the leaves are almost all completely full blossom full bloom on the leaves it's beautiful red leaves once they're once it's fully blooming it's beautiful bright uh, like a not a red but a like a like a maroon type beautiful color and I love I love that tree and I didn't want to have to cut it down because if I cut it down I was gonna plant another one but we have this guy in the radio here the plant doctor on local radio and someone from not far from where we like right here in the same area within a couple miles called and one weekend said something about his Japanese maple last fall and the plant doctor said yeah the trees will go dormant because we didn't get any leaves on it last year I mean the leaves were dead they didn't fall off until winter time this past winter they were just dead for like a year and he said trees will go there's so much water saturation in the ground and we did we had a lot of rain that year that the tree the tree will go dormant um, and that's how it survives Isn't that amazing how nature works, how God designed things to be, how nature works. And now she's blooming, and got her leaves out, looking looking really good. So my allergies, man, I can't I'm glad it rain it's been raining this morning since about six thirty, and I'm glad it is because it gets the pollen count down. The leaf I'm I'm allergic to trees and the part of not I can't go up it's not like I can't go up and touch a tree. It's the pollen. When the trees are budding and coming into to season every spring, that is what gets me. And it gets my eyes itchy and watery. I get stuffed up. My throat gets uh, itchy. and So... Anyhow, thank you, Simon. There was a lot of wonderful suggestions, and I thank you all for the suggestions on how to fix my friend board. But in the end, I went with what Simon had recommended. Um, 
not that I don't trust anybody else. Um, I just thought, well, that that seems like a good way to go. And if it, if it didn't work, I would have done some of the other things. A lot of people had a lot of the same suggestions. So, but it's it's up and running, and I'm happy. I don't know if you can hear the rain hitting the roof. Okay, well, hope you all have a good Saturday and a good weekend. I'm going to get back to relaxing on my porch. No coffee today. I had it this morning for breakfast, and I'm trying to cut back a little bit on the coffee. So, And usually this time of year, a couple cups, and then come fall is when I pick it up and drink a lot more during the winter. But I drink my coffee black, of course. That's the way I drink it. So it's not bad for you when it's straight straight up. When it's got all that sugar and cream, that's when you gotta concern yourself with a little bit of So anyhow. Have a great weekend. God bless. God loves you. I love you. Light them up. <laughs>